Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I want to introduce you to some updates to Evernote and some integration with shortcuts for iOS on the iPhone. I have lots of random thoughts. Most of the episodes you see here started as some sort of random idea, often prompted by a question from somebody or an email that I receive. I need some way to keep track of all of that stuff. And for me, it's Evernote. I've done an episode with an introduction to Evernote up here that I recorded back in October 2018. So that might be a good place to start if you've never heard of Evernote. Evernote has undergone quite a lot of changes recently. Not long after I recorded that episode, they introduced a new CEO, Ian Small. And he started 2019 with three big priorities. A more coherent experience, a cleaner code base for faster development, and improving the core infrastructure behind Evernote. Three big lofty goals. Not all of these have been achieved yet, but there has been great progress. A lot of what's new can't be seen by most people, but I'm part of a beta program that gives me insider access to the new versions as they come out for the iPhone particularly. The main visible differences are a new note editor and a new search feature. Evernote does take a few seconds every time I start it up to check whether there is a new beta update and if there is, update me to the latest version. Here I can see some of the notes that I have relating to these videos. And creating a new note is as simple as tapping new note. I can choose from a template or I can just start writing. New video idea. Short cuts for iOS. Now I've created a new note and I can go back in and edit it because that was a capital A and it shouldn't have been. Done. It's really clean, it's really simple and it's really easy to use. The other feature that's been upgraded is search. Click the big search icon. I'm, by default I'm searching in the tech doctor and I can search for idea. And it's really quick and simple to use. There's a whole bunch of things in the background that have upgraded as well. There's a completely new code base that makes it easier for developers to make changes and a completely migrated backend. This isn't sexy, but it's important and amazingly difficult. It's a little bit like recarpeting the lounge room floor while everyone's still sitting there watching TV. There's nothing earth shattering here. It's basically just the same old Evernote. It's just getting better. They've taken some time off to retool and now they're ready to build big on the structure that they've built so far. There is one great little integration that I do want to share with everybody though. It's been a huge boon for me when adding notes to Evernote and it uses the newish iOS shortcuts feature. Shortcuts is an iOS feature that's been around for a few years now, but highly underrated and probably deserving of an episode of its own. As soon as that episode's out, I'll put a link to it up here. The end goal of this integration is an icon on my home screen that allows me to record an audio note and save it directly to Evernote. To do this, we open Shortcuts and we want to go to the gallery. In the gallery, we search for Evernote because there's a pre-made script for this. It helps if you spell it right. We want to do a recording to Evernote. When I run record to Evernote, it'll do the five actions. That's what I want. So I'm going to add that shortcut into my shortcuts. In my shortcuts, I can now go tap the three dots I want to change the name from recording to Evernote because that's too long. Rec to Enote. Done. It's going to get the current date, format it, set it to a formatted date. We need to allow access to the microphone and allow access 
to Evernote because without the microphone it can't record anything. Without access to Evernote it can't store it there. In the record audio I want to show more. Start recording immediately rather than on tap. One less thing I have to tap and we're done. No, actually there's one more step. Tap there. Click on the three dots again. Add to home screen. Record to eNote. The microphone icon. Click add. And it's added it to my home screen. I can click done and done. There it is, record to Evernote. And if I tap on it, it's waiting. It's already started recording, so it wants me to tap to finish recording. In this case, well, I want to record a test note, but I'm already recording a test note. So I'm going to tap to finish. It takes a second, goes through, and that note will now be in my Evernote notes. There's the icon it's created. I actually want to take that because I use it all the time and put it whoops not there right here on my home screen because that's where I want it to be it's as simple as that shortcuts knows all of the things that it needs to do I add that little formula in from the gallery and it's ready to go and if I go into Evernote there's the new recording with today's date and it's audio so I can play it it's as simple as that. So the question of the day, do you use Evernote? Do you use Apple shortcuts? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, fix it when it breaks. If you're on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And a subscribe button down here so you can make sure you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.